so a family in Houston is suing an Arby's in Louisiana after their mother was found dead in the freezer. Somehow she got locked in the freezer, which shouldn't have been possible. A Houston woman froze to death after she was left stranded inside of a restaurant freezer for hours. It all happened at Arby's in New Iberia, Louisiana on May 11. A tragic situation. The woman's family is now suing the restaurant and franchisee. Fox 26's Natalie He joins us live to tell us what the family is seeking. Natalie? Well, the lawsuit claims that Arby's upper management knew that the freezer's latch had been broken for several months and did nothing to fix or address the issue. They believe that this death could have been prevented. We do want to warn our... Wow, okay, so the latch was broken. She walked in, and due to the faultiness of the latch, she was unable to leave. Yet, yeah, that is definitely the fault of the franchisee's owner, and the parent company our viewers that some of the details we're about to hear may be a little disturbing her family talks so passionately about her about how she was a loving mother New yet Lee's four kids won't let their mother's loving memory fade without justice. The family from Houston is now suing Arby's and its parent company, claiming gross negligence. It's one of the kind of the most horrific deaths you can imagine. Their attorney, Paul Skrbonik, said 63-year-old New yet Lee had been working at the Arby's off the South Loop West in Houston for several years, but was asked to fill in as general manager for the new Iberia, Louisiana location for six weeks. I'm curious if they told her about the broken latch. She, if they didn't, if they did not, she probably assumed it was working properly and allowed the door to close, uh, thus trapping herself in the freezer. On May 11th, Miss Lee showed up to the restaurant at 9 a.m. She began doing duties to get the restaurant ready to open that day and somehow must have gotten locked in that freezer before 10 a.m because other employees began to show up at 10, 11 o'clock in the morning, and they couldn't get in. I guess they don't give them keys. Paul said the employees called Ms. Lee's phone repeatedly, but received no answer for hours. It wasn't until upper management asked Ms. Lee's son, Wynn, who had keys to the restaurant, to check on the place nearly nine hours later. The general manager realized we don't have any sales at the location today. That's really, really odd, and asked him to go check things out, and that's when uh, Wynn found his mother at about six o'clock that evening. Talking to the police officer that investigated the scene, he said she really struggled to get out of that freezer. She beat on the door as hard as she could. There was blood on the door um, and she ultimately fell face first and froze to the floor. Documents say- Wait, I, I, I'm confused. Did none of the employees go in there? How did they not hear her? Ms. Lee died of hypothermia as the freezer was maintained at least negative 10 degrees or colder. The lawsuit also claims employees used a screwdriver and a box of oil to help keep the freezer door open. We know from talking. Hmm, yeah, so they knew that if the door closed, it's hard to open. So they kept, they kept it propped open. Wow. And nobody told her about this? Like, come on. It, yeah, it is the fault of the franchisee's owner for not fixing the door. ...to a former employee there that had been broken since at least August of last year, and that upper management had come through there and personally witnessed that broken latch, and nothing had been done. He had made repeated requests to get it addressed. And in fact, I'm told that Miss Lee actually made a request in writing to management as well about it. Up next in the case, the family's attorney tells me that he's asked Arby's and its parent company to preserve any evidence related to this case that includes surveillance video. Now, we also reached out to an attorney representing the franchisee, but so far we have not heard back. Meanwhile, a spokesperson for Arby's corporate says that they are aware of the tragic incident and says they are cooperating with law enforcement. Natalie He reporting.